Hi, this is Mike from MikeEckerman.com. This is a short meter explaining the operation of the LD meter designed by Qi. The LD meter is a clip-on shoe-mounted exposure meter that also has a laser range finder that in addition to measuring exposure can also tell you the distance of your subject. The LD meter has a control layout that's very similar to other exposure meters of its type. It's got a wheel on top for changing various modes, a button on the side, which can be half pressed or full pressed, and each does a different thing depending on what you're doing. It has a built-in rechargeable battery, which is charged by the USB-C port on the side, and it also has a laser on-off switch. This is useful for disabling the laser when you don't want to use it to save battery power. Turning it on requires a single full press of the rear button, and it powers on. The LCD screen shows you typical settings that you would expect to see from an exposure meter, such as shutter speed, f-stop, Below it is a distance reading for the laser rangefinder, battery level, a couple icons showing you the mode of the meter, an EV reading, and whatever ISO speed you have set. In this case, I have 1,000th ISO 1000 set. I can change to a wider aperture, for example, f2.8. I'm in a dark basement, so one third shutter speed at f2.8 would take my would be proper exposure. To actually take a new reading. I half press the rear button. So it changed to 1 sixth. I'm going to point it to a light source off camera. It switched to 1 200th at f2.8. It's because I pointed it directly at a light. But at a dim basement, it's much lower than that. Different modes for the meter is if you press the button once, you'll see it's an S mode. That means single reading. So it's only taking a reading when you have it pressed. It does a exposure meeting, exposure meter reading, and a distance re meter reading at the same time. I'll point it across the room far away. You'll notice it took a much further reading. If I point it even further, 16.5 feet is across my room. A red laser pointer, I'll point at the table. You can see it's taking a reading and it'll hold that reading as long as I hold it down. If I want, I can put the meter into continuous mode by half pressing and holding for a few seconds. You'll notice the S will change to a C. In C reading, even though I'm not touching the button, it's constantly take readings. This might be useful when the camera is mounted to a tripod and you don't keep it to your eye and you want to continuously keep taking readings of something. So notice as I move it around, it's detecting different distances across my room, different light readings. This obviously will have a drain on the battery. So I'll put it back in a single mode. If I want to change the ISO speed or the distance readings from feet to meters, I long full press this button until the ISO starts to blink. It's at 1000, I turn the dial. I can choose something different, for example, 400. If I do it again, it switches to feet. I can rotate it to meters or feet, meters. I'll keep it in feet. Single press will get it out of that mode. When I'm in, uh, which is basically aperture priority mode, I can change to whatever f-stop I want from f 1.0 all the way to F64. If I double half press, that's what it is, sorry. Double long press, it switches to shutter speed mode. So the 15 second shutter speed go as fast as one eight thousandth. And you'll notice the F stop switch to error, which means that it would be po impossible to get proper exposure in the lighting that I'm at with an ISO set of 400 and a shutter speed of one eight thousandth. The distance can go down to 0 0.1 meters, 
which is a little bit less than a foot, all the way up to 50 meters. Can't go to infinity because a laser pointer can't reach that far. It's quite useful in low light, but it can be difficult to read outdoors in bright sunlight. Pointing a laser pointer at a tree 20 feet away, it can be very difficult to see the red dot. And while the meter reading will still be accurate, you won't know what you're pointing it at, so sometimes that can be a challenge. But overall, this is a pretty straightforward and simple meter to use. It looks really nice. It's available in both black and chrome. It mounts to any accessory shoe on most cameras. There are screws on the bottom, which allow you to change the position. So I could move this foot over a little bit if I mounted it to a camera where it didn't quite fit properly on. Like I said, there are chrome versions. There's even a accessory viewfinder and red dot meter, which goes under the meter, but it mounts to it using this magnetic spot on the side. Overall, a pretty cool device.